Hey there, friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. Happy Teach Me Tuesday. Today actually happens to be the last Tuesday of the month as well, which means it's card class night. So this will be a quick to Teach Me Tuesday video. It's going to be a Teach Me Tuesday basics, too, because um, I think it's good sometimes to just touch along the basics sort of things that I take for granted that I know and can do easily without even thinking about. But some of you may be new stampers and new to Stampin' Up! and therefore may not be as familiar as I am with the product. So today we're talking about our ink pads. So we have fabulous ink pads. They revised them a few years ago, so now they are the foam-based ink pads. They're pretty squishy, so light tap, tap, tap works perfectly on them. But today I wanted to show a couple of things for you, just some basics, how to open, how to close, and how to re-ink, because they don't actually use as much ink when you re-ink as they used to, um, but you do need to re-ink them a little bit uh, more often than before. Um, so first off, first and foremost, I'm going to share with you a little story of uh, how to open the ink pad here. This was actually shared with us at a convention, I don't know, years ago by the lovely Bonnie Farber, who is um, one of the trainers uh, at Stampin' Up! And she taught us this little thing that helps me remember how to open my stamp pad. So first off, you'll notice these three little dots right here. So she told us that, date to, that opening an ink pad was like dating a man. So first thing you want to do is you're going to push them away from you. So you push away right where those three dots are. Then you pull them towards you. So you'll pull it towards you. And then you lock them down. So uh, it's a little kind of funny story, but helps you kind of remember how to put this together. So again, you're going to push right on those three little dots, push on the front of the ink pad as far as it will go, and then you're going to flip it forward and then lock it into place. And that's how you open the ink pad. When you're ready to close them, I look for this little um, like reservoir right here. And that's how I know that's where I pull. So I just stick my finger in there and I pull towards me. And that's the best way to actually close the ink pad to keep it um, moist at the top there. So that's how they're actually stored is so that when they are um, closed, the ink pad is actually upside down and keeps the ink right at the top of your ink pad, which is perfect for stamping. So now you can see this one here. It's got a, a I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but right here, it's a little bit lighter than everywhere else on the ink pad. So you can see that's where I've hit it several times with a, a stamp or whatnot. And so therefore it's used a lot of the juice from that area. So a lot of times you want to make sure you're, when you're inking up your stamps, that you're stamping in other areas of the ink pad too. If you hit the same spot over and over again, it's going to pull the ink out of that one spot and make it um, a different color when you stamp so that if you put an image that kind of overlaps the lightness and the darkness, it will actually look a little bit darker on one side than in the center. Um, it also is an indication that you need to re-ink your stamp. So I'm going to show you how I re-ink mine. So I've got my Bermuda Bay ink refill. This is one of my favorite, favorite colors, by the way. I would highly recommend it. This one in crumb cake. Staples. They must be staples. So then you're going to just take, I'm going to go from this way because I think it'll be easier to see in the camera. You're just going to go ahead and do a little drop of ink and I kind of do little rows of ink and depending on how dry the ink pad is that's how many rows so sometimes I put my rows really close together sometimes I just do um, further apart rows but you basically want to cover the whole thing and I'm sorry my hands gonna kind of be in the way for a minute because I can't go ahead because I'll knock the camera so you can kind of see I just did rows now I have one of these little um, spreading tools from an old ink pad. I don't even remember where I got it from, but I use this to kind of spread out the ink. You want to make sure it gets to all of the areas of the ink pad, so I just use this little thing. If you don't have one of these, which you probably don't, you can actually just use um, like a credit card. You can use a piece of cardstock, so if you have a nice thick piece of cardstock, you can rub that along it. You just want to kind of make sure you're getting the ink, and I try and do in both directions. And I probably should have stamped with this um, before I re-inked it so you could have seen the difference. But now that that's done, I'll just take a little piece of scrap paper and clean off my little spreading tool here. Trying not to get it in the ink pad. And so then that's all cleaned off. And then, just so that you can see, some basic stamping tips too. So I've got my little um, flower image from Touches of Texture. Light tap, tap, tap. And it will be a little bit squishy when you first re-ink um, perhaps a little bubbly too, 
which is pretty normal, and then just straight down, straight up, and you get that nice, beautiful blue image, one of my favorite colors. Um, I actually did a pretty good job with this one. It's not too bubbly, it's not too juicy. Sometimes um, you can over ink, and then it gets really bubbly so that when you do the light tap, 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 it actually forms bubbles right on the top of your ink pad, and that's generally because you re-inked it too much. Um, you can either do one of two things. You can take a paper towel or napkin and kind of blot off some of the excess, or you can just stamp with it a bunch of times. You'll get some like blurry images for a few times, but if you kind of stamp stamp all over and take some of that color off that will work too um, but this time I happen to do it just perfectly a little tip though is to you know err on the side of caution and therefore use less rather than more and you can always add more if it's not quite inky enough but that is my quick little teach me Tuesday tip for the day hopefully that helps you I will be back next week with a uh, more instructive video today I just wanted to kind of touch on some basic ink tips and tricks. So I hope you have a great day and thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe if these videos help you. I would really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks.